go. Okay, so today we're going to salt and pepper a flipper. Um, and I've done the preliminary work. I've already set the teeth in wax. Anna bent the wire. We put a bead line in it. Made the putty matrix of the teeth. Cleaned out all the wax, steamed off the teeth. So now we're just going to acrylic it back together. And I'm going to start out, the cast has also been painted with Cosep. I'm going to start out with uh, pink fibered acrylic that's going to go on the facial so it looks a little more natural. And then I'm going to uh, salt and pepper the palette in with uh, clear ortho resin. So I'm starting out with some clear monomer and pink polymer, pink fibered polymer. And I'm going to mix that up. I want a consistency about like mayonnaise. If it's too thick, we're going, to, we're going to apply it on the edentulous areas and under the putty matrix. If it's too thick, the matrix won't go on all the way, and that's bad. If it's too thin, it will run out a little bit, and you'll have some voids that you'll have to go back and fill in after it's, after it's acrylic together. Initially, when we mix it up, you're going to see a few bubbles come out of that, so we need to, we need to wait about 30 seconds. Try and work the bubbles out. I've drilled a diatoric hole in this canine that I want to be sure and get acrylic in. I wet the teeth with some monomer so that they get a good bond to the acrylic. Applying it both to the teeth and to the edentulous ridge. Okay. Once I've got that on there, I'm going to put the matrix on. It's going to put the teeth back in the right position, like that. And I want to be sure that the matrix is seated all the way, and it is. Now I need to hold it in place, and then I'm going to start salt and peppering the acrylic in the palette with ortho resin. Okay. I'm going to use pink liquid. Okay. Wet the cast. Sprinkle with clear polymer powder. Ultimately I want this to be about a millimeter and a half thick. And that thickness, and we're trying to keep it as uniform thickness as we can. Basically what I'm looking for, when I can't quite see the yellow cast through the acrylic, then I know I'm just about right. This matrix is trimmed and cut so that I have access to everything from the lingual. The buckle side was the teeth were festooned. The acrylic was uh, the wax was festooned on the facial, so the acrylic is formed to my festooning on the buckle. On the lingual, we just have to keep applying a liquid and powder, liquid and powder, until we get it to the right thickness. And then any refining will have to be done in the acrylic, where we grind it with a brass or burr. So I'm just going to work my way around. Notice that I'm tipping the cast so it doesn't all run down into the palette. This particular one has a large torus that had undercuts on it, so I blocked those out with some wax so that the acrylic, once it's set up and cured, won't be locked on. I also blocked out in the interproximal areas of the edentulous areas so that the acrylic doesn't lock on in those areas too. Lingual undercuts I'm utilizing for retention. So that I have no block out in those areas. Continue tipping it. Add your clear powder, which looks white right now. And work my way around. If, if I don't work fast enough, I might have to go back and, and wet the area where I started because it needs to stay liquidy until we get it in the pressure pot. The ortho resin is a finer grain than the pink fibered. You can actually get away with not pressure potting it and it won't be totally porous. Whereas the pink fibered has fillers in it and that has to go in the pressure pot or it will come out all white and porous instead of looking pink. I'm trying to add just enough liquid to saturate the powder so it doesn't all run. And I'm not afraid to do a little bit of excess, especially at the margins. 
so that we don't come up short. I can always trim it. This is the same way you'll do your holly retainer. Ortho appliances are done this way. And we got a little bit thin back here where that clasp is, not too bad, but I'm gonna add a little bit and then we're gonna get this in the pressure pot. So it should look like that. Can't quite see the yellow through the cast. You know, a little bit thin around the bead line here. I'm gonna put a little bit in that area just to make sure we have enough. Ultimately, I want it to be pretty thin at the bead line so it blends in with the palette and the tongue doesn't feel it. But I don't wanna to have to go back and add acrylic if I don't have to. And then I'll put a rubber band around the matrix so that it stays in place while it's curing. So it doesn't fall off on us, because if it does or it comes loose, then the teeth are not going to be in the right position. Okay, and then from there it goes in the pressure pot. I've already put hot water in the pressure pot. The model had been soaked prior so that the air bubbles don't come out of the stone. And if the water's warm, this should be in there for a good 20 minutes. After it's set, then we'll have to gently take it off, get it off the cast, and then do our finishing and polishing.